Hi there, and thanks for clicking on the video. Yep. Um, we've got Sal Rav here today, who um, contacted me and wanted to do a uh, mock test with me. Yep. And you, from what we've talked about, you've done two tests before, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Maybe. And unfortunately, haven't been um, successful yet. Yeah. And um, yeah, you just saw my videos, didn't you? You wanted to just just to have a mock test, few, few, few mock tests before they go for further testing. Yeah. 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 See so if we get any sort of other feedback and yeah, and that sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, now we're in your your car, aren't we? In, in um, because basically it's the car that you more you're more used to in that. Yeah. Um. So, like we mentioned when we first met, because we're just in a, we're just based based on a short drive so far, just to get used to each other. Mm -hmm. Of course, I've not got dual controls here. Yeah. So, just to remind you, if at any point um, I say stop, okay, just please if you can stop because I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, and also bear in mind, of course, you're responsible for mm -hmm. um, for making sure we're safe and legal. Because I haven't got any anything yeah. to um, to stop you. Yeah. Um. So, um, yeah, and we've checked your license, done your eyesight, haven't we? So we've done, we've done all those bits, the little things they'd normally do on your driving test. And I've also got the sat-nav set up, so that's ready to go in a minute. Yep. So just to quickly explain to you how um, this mock test is going to work. Yep. Like on a real test, it will last about 40 minutes, mm -hmm. include various types of roads, um, so dual carriageway, rural roads, towns, mm -hmm. whatever we, we might come across. Um, include one reversing manoeuvre okay. and possibly an emergency stop okay. and also it's going to include um, one tell me question okay. and one show me question yeah. um, and if you could please follow the road ahead at all times mm -hmm. if I want you to turn left or right mm -hmm. I'll let you know in plenty of time okay. if at any point you're unsure of where we're going mm -hmm. Please don't stay quiet. Please do ask. Yep, sure. Even if it's on the sat nav part, the sat nav's unclear because you probably know with sat navs they can sometimes be a bit unclear. Mm -hmm. If it's unclear, just ask me, and that's that's fine. You're not going to get marked or anything for it. Just sure. straight away ask me. Um, any questions at the moment before we? Mm, nothing so far. So. Yeah. Just, yeah. So um, I suppose we'll quickly do the tell me question. Mm -hmm. Let me do a show me one more on the move. Yeah. Um, Maybe I could do a question. Can you tell me how you could check your brake lights are working? So you just, uh, I would just turn my ignition uh, car ignitions on mm -hmm. and just uh, hit the brake pad and, and see the reflections of my back backlight. The other cars, or I can just move around and just see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Yeah. So um, yeah. So I'm going to get this sat nav started. Can you see it okay, by the way? Yeah, I can see. Yeah, yeah. and the sound, just going to check the sound's on. Yeah, the sound's on, so that's fine. Okay. So, um, and at the moment what we basically need to do, the sat-nav route is set to start from back there, so what okay. we need to start with is just basically follow the road ahead, Okay. Um, and then turn round to the roundabout, this okay. a bit further down here, Okay. and when we come back, mm -hmm. the sat-nav route will start. Okay. But I will just clarify turning round to the roundabout when we get to it in a moment. Sure. So, um, yeah, so if you can please drive on when it's when you're ready, yeah. ready, 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 please. While Saurav did check his blind spot there, there was quite a significant delay between checking the blind spot and actually pulling away. I'm not going to mark anything this yet, but I'm going to keep an eye on it to see how he gets on. That's actually worked out actually. Yeah, yeah the sat nav's worked a bit out. So just continue to follow the sat nav for the moment, please.
your destination. Once you get to that point, the route will restart. Okay. So just carry on driving. sat nav use this to help you to identify when you should start checking your mirrors and start signaling for the junction if the junction is about 100 yards away according to the sat nav that's when you should normally check your mirrors and signal this is assuming two things firstly you're driving at fairly normal speeds around 30 miles per hour secondly assuming there's no side roads prior to the roundabout whether your signal at 100 yards could mislead them to think you're turning down those side roads for mirrors change speed there, Saurav needs to be checking his mirrors before he slowed down, particularly as that black car was very close behind him. Yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, B2110, High Street. Look at the road sign here, the second exit is off to the right, so an approach to this roundabout Saurav needs to check his mirrors and signal right. He checks his mirrors there, but he doesn't signal right to turn at the roundabout. He also positions a bit too far to the left. So this is given as a driver fault for use of signals necessary. I also have to check my right shoulder as there's a car behind that's getting a little bit confused and kind of half expecting us to turn left because of our positioning and our lack of signal. Could you find a safe place to pull up on the left, just somewhere along here please? Okay. Much better use of mirrors and use of the signal there, Saurav. Okay, thanks for that. That's just a routine stop, as uh, you might get used to that several times, just to show you can stop and start in different, um, different situations, different circumstances. Mm -hmm. um, so if you could please drive on um, when you're ready. Okay. Notice the gap between Sarah's blind spot check and when he actually pulls away. It's also probably not a great idea to signal yet as it's not actually safe to go because he needs to let the vehicles pass. I decide to give this as a fault for move off safety. Don't do that signal until you're actually going to pull away and also you should be checking your blind spot just before you move away. Basically this is just follow the road, so it's not a truck, just continue to follow the road basically.
this road is currently 60 miles per hour, national speed limit. Zaurev is currently travelling between 40 to 50 miles per hour. Given the width of the road and the bends, this speed is quite decent. He perhaps brakes a bit too much for this bend, as it's not particularly sharp. So I'm just going to keep an eye on his speed from now on, just see how he gets on with it. checks for his mirrors before slowing there, and also Sauriv is going over 30 miles per hour when he passes his sign. So I give a minor fault here for a response to road signs. unfortunately Sarah's first serious fall. Even though he saw the 30 mile an hour sign, he looks at the sat nav and sees it says 40, decides to go with that, and I need to tell him to slow down, it's a 30 mile an hour per hour road. Decide to give Saurav a driver fall for progress appropriate speed here, as it's currently national speed limit 60 miles per hour. We've got a really long, clear, straight road with no major hazards around, and we're currently just sitting between 45 and 50 miles per hour. I'd like to see him getting a bit more progress here, maybe getting towards 55 or 60, but maybe not on this bend, but just on the straight bit of road back there. signals very late, but also Sarah didn't check his mirrors before signalling. Particularly important as we're on a 60 mile an hour road, we really need to give notice to vehicles behind that we're going to be slowing and turning. So I give a driver fault for use of mirrors signalling.
and quite late of mirrors and signalling here. He should be signalling about now. I decide to give no fault for this one. Turn right. to hear from Sarav, but a little bit hesitant and slow to build speed. I decide to give no fault as no one's affected as the left lane's perfectly empty. Ideally avoid slowing on the main carriageway so not to disrupt the fast moving traffic and slow on the exit slip road. I decide to give Sarah the benefit of the doubt as the exit is in a bit of a corner and fairly hard to see. to signal right. However, he waits and signals just before he pulls out. So I give a minor fault for signals time. However, to be fair to him, his position on that junction was brilliant, keeping far over to the right as it's a one-way road. Perhaps Sauron was thinking more about his positioning and not about his signalling. Give us another routine stop. Okay. Um, so if you could please drive on when you're ready. Okay. Again, a bit of a delay there between Sarah's right blind spot check and him then pulling away. So another minor fault for move off safety. At this point, Sauerab is going over 30 miles an hour as he passes the 30 mile per hour sign. So a minor fault for response to road signs again. Due to Sauerab's late signalling, it's now getting to the point where I'm not sure if he's going to take the turn. Or he's going to miss it and then we're going to go off route and it's going to take quite a long time to get back on route. So I decide to step in and give him some advice It's the next road on the right. Next one here, next road turn on the right. right. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. And then once again, could you pull up on the left in a safe place, just somewhere along this road? Thanks 
for that. And no surprises, please drive on when you're ready. signal's not really needed there but there's no one around it wasn't particularly misleading so I'm not going to worry too much about it and signal there Sarav, keep that up. Also remember, if you're travelling at faster speeds, that mirrors and signal needs to happen earlier as other drivers need more time to respond to what you're doing. And could I now ask you to pull up on the right, on the opposite side of the road, in a safe place, just somewhere along here? Great, thanks. So that's firstly part of the end of the sat nav part of the drive. Okay. So I'm just going to turn that um, that off, and um, it's also going to be our reverse exercise as well now. Okay. Um, I forget how to clear the route on this all the time. I have to clear the route. I have to turn it off. So um, yeah, it's going to be a reverse exercise now. So what I'd like to do is um, reverse the car back for two to three car lengths, okay. keeping reasonably close to the curb. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let you know when you've gone back further enough. Okay. Any questions about, about what, we, what, we, what we need to do here? Mm, no, I'm pretty clear. Okay. So, so whenever you're ready, you could start the, um, the manoeuvre please, whenever you're ready. Mm -hmm. there thank you yeah. and then please drive on when you're ready what do you think of Sarah's observations there when reversing yeah, you mark, I guess I'll be direct he only seems to be checking his middle and right mirror didn't he I wonder if he would have noticed that Tesco's van coming up behind him unfortunately this is Sarah's second serious fault observations while reversing. He needs to be looking around a lot more, particularly looking over his left shoulder out to the rear window.
off to the right, it's the what the exit after the petrol station. After the petrol station, okay. so this exit here. I'm slightly confused. Okay. Good thing is because we've got it recorded, we can always you can always watch that back on YouTube to sort of have a look at the roundabout again. Despite Sarah getting a bit confused in that one, no real issues with it. His position was fine, keeping to the right lane is the best lane to be in, and he signalled right. Um, if he didn't signal right, I'd still be happy with it. He seemed quite aware of what's going on around him, so like I say, I don't really have any issues with that. We can now see we're going to be merging with a 70 mile an hour dual carriageway via a slip road. When Salraf sees this, he decides to actually start braking and slowing his speed as if it is a T-junction. There's actually now a car very close behind us who's eagerly trying to build speed to safely merge with the traffic. Whilst he does manage to merge safely, his speed on the slip road is just way too slow. And we can then start to see the car overtake us in a moment, which is the one that's very close behind us. Here he comes now. Because Sarah have got away with it, I'm just going to give him a driver fault for progress at appropriate speed there. As we continue down the dual carriageway, we can see an exit off the dual carriageway, which normally means there'll be an entrance soon and traffic merging. So probably not safe to get up to 70 just at the moment in case someone merges in front of us. But we then clear that hazard and there's nothing there, and Sarov just sits at 60 miles per hour, the speed limit currently being 70 miles per hour. Also notice he's been overtaken quite regularly. Unfortunately, 60 miles an hour and this road just is a bit too slow, so I'm going to give another minor fault for progress appropriate speed. And in fact, I'm actually unfortunately going to have to change it to a serious fault, as his progress appropriate speed has been a fairly regular issue.
late to cancel the signal, but Sarov does cancel it. That's the main thing. Now it's going to be turning right. Just think about it. The full exit towards Pease Pottage Services. Turning right, full exit, Pease Pottage Services, please. Spotting the road markings here, Sarah. Realise you need to be in the right lane. Also, really good positioning when you enter and go round the roundabout.
on the left and a safe place just along here. Be great. So um, yeah, so if you switch your um, engine off for the moment and just make yourself comfortable. Okay. Um, the reason we're stopping here and not back where we started is just because in a minute I want to just ask you a few things. And I thought this road's quite a good road to uh -huh. ask you a few things. Let's just give me a moment or two while I um, complete the paperwork. Yeah, so that's the end of the test. Unfortunately, you haven't passed. Okay. Um, I gave three serious faults. Mm -hmm. Before I say anything, do you, any 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 thoughts from you? Any questions or anything? No, any I, I kind of thought like of I, I drove well, so okay. I just need to... That's fine. Yeah. So, um, the three serious faults I gave you is... I kind of put it over two boxes. We're often signalling and checking mirrors very late when okay. doing junctions, or we're almost checking okay. and signalling as you're about to pull out from the junction. Okay, not before. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, if the junction is, well, if you're turning here into this car park, you're basically almost in your mirrors and signal, okay. like now, right as you're about to turn, which okay. is quite very late to be checking okay. and. And then it sometimes it's mean as well. We're not actually checking mirrors at all because it's all mm -hmm. no time to do it because it's very last minute. Okay. Um, particularly on the faster roads, we really need to give other drivers behind notice that we're going to be slowing and turning. Okay. Because without a signal, they're not going to know what we're slowing for. Okay. So your speed's fine. Your approach speed's fine. Mm -hmm. It's just we're not notifying people what we're slowing for. Okay. So that it could be. Yep, yeah, so there's one road run with a 60 mile an hour road, mm -hmm. and we signalled pretty much just before we turned. So it's obviously quite a fast road to be okay. not giving on any notice that you're about to be turning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, serious fault as well was the one you mentioned about the sat nav, where um, the sat nav was saying 40. I appreciate it saying 40, but it was actually a 30 mile an hour road. Okay. Yeah, and I'm pretty yeah. sure you saw the 30 signs because you slowed the for them. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, we don't. We can't be you using. We can't be relying on that because yeah. um, you're wearing the sat nav. The information could be out of date. Okay. Yeah. It's certainly not updated. Yeah, it might. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. on that one, I have actually updated the sat nav recently. But it appears that on the TomTom -tom mm -hmm. website, they've not been notified of that speed limit change into thirty. Okay. So this is sometimes the issue mm -hmm. with using the sat if it might not have the most reliable information. Okay. It's an aid to help, but it's not okay. necessarily be that reliable. Mm -hmm. So that I put down put a serious fault for use of speed, because we were getting towards 40 miles an hour okay. on that 30 mile an hour road. Okay. Um, that one sort of related to speed as well, kind of the opposite we had. Mm -hmm. um, a bit slow. Okay, uh, this is uh, on a couple of situations. So on these signs here, what do these signs here mean? So for national speed limit. Mm. Yep. What would it be on a road like this? Um, it should be fifty. Right. This is made by the foot. It's actually sixty. Okay. What would it be if it was on a dual carriageway, like the road we can hear just next to us on a moment ago? Uh, at eight twenty-three. Yeah. Know? It should be seventy. It is. Yeah. 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 But I was driving so, on 60. Yeah, we're always basically sitting 10 below the limit, basically. Mm -hmm. so on these, I can answer because it's maybe a bit confusing the speed, but on the mm -hmm. road, the these roads like this, we mm -hmm. would go no more than 50. Okay. On that road, you're going no more than 60. Okay. You might have noticed on that road, okay. quite a few people overtaking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Should be around 65. Even 60, 70, 70, possibly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but no, 65 at least, for, yeah, because it's quite mm -hmm. clear road. Yeah, yeah. Nothing ahead of you to break for. Yeah. Um, obviously, we're not treating the speed limits as a target as such. Mm -hmm. It's still a speed limit, not a target. But mm -hmm. if it's safe to do it, okay. Because like on the the roads like this, these more country roads, yeah, sometimes yeah. you're nowhere near safe to do sixty. Okay. But we had one or two stretches of road, quite a straight bit of road. Mm -hmm. We could have probably got to fifty-five, sixty, okay. and we were stopped staying at forty-five, fifty. Mm -hmm. um, the main one really that kind of 
I suppose, if, I, if you pardon the phrase, it's kind of the nail in the coffin, mm-hmm. is basically when we're merging onto these roads, we're yes. coming in quite slowly. Okay. You might have noticed some when we emerged onto one of the roads at one point, there's actually a silver car behind us that's accelerating really quite fast behind yeah, us, yeah, yeah. and we were just sitting there on the slip road very slow. Okay. And you're actually break you're actually breaking on the slip road for no reason. Yeah, I got it. That was kind of the the final end in the coffin that we just mm-hmm. a little bit slow. The whole point of a slip road mm-hmm. is to build speed. Sometimes it's called an acceleration lane to build speed. Okay. To match the speed of the dual carriageway, which would be six, they're going to be going typically between sixty and seventy miles per hour. Yeah. Um, and when you're coming off the dual carriageway, yeah. The whole point is you slow your speed on the slip road. It was sort of slowing our speed a bit too much when we're still on the okay. the main okay. road, and we're trying to keep the traffic flowing at that point. Okay. Keep the speed going while we're dropping down to about fifty on the main road. We should have come off and then started. Yeah. Um, slowing, but that that's not as important. The main one was really building speed to merge, and okay. when we're actually on the roads itself, mm-hmm. um, if it's just one instant, maybe an issue bit. It's because it basically it was Stopping happening here, regularly, yeah. Yeah. which to be fair is what a lot of this was. Mm-hmm. That was similar with the sort of the mirror, the the timing of the mirrors and signal because it was happening regularly. It kind okay. of became something. It's just once. Mm-hmm. As long as it's fairly quiet, it's okay. not really a major thing. Okay. Um, oh, actually, sorry, I'm going to take what I said. It's not actually, actually, unfortunately, it's four serious things, actually. Okay. Sorry, I said three, it's actually four. When we're doing the reverse, pulling up on the right and mm-hmm. reversing back, mm-hmm. we need to be looking around out of our rear window. Okay. When we're reversing. Okay, I haven't. I just checked this. And yeah. Not mm. Okay. So we need to be aware of those, uh-huh. but we need to be as well as doing over uh-huh. the right the shoulder, shoulder. Sorry, uh-huh. left shoulder, uh-huh. and also you've got your right blind spot, for example, here in your right blind spot. Yeah, yeah. You've got the entrance. Can you see if you look over your shoulder? Where's your right blind spot? So you've uh-huh. got the entrance there. So stuff uh-huh. that's a hit. That's not in your mirror, I'd guess. Uh-huh. Okay. Um. Yeah. So. Any sort of questions on that other moment about the serious? Okay, so the serious. serious things? Uh, so this, uh, this part. So these are where it's got S. This is the serious, serious things. Serious things. And these all are related to speed. Somewhere it is high. Somewhere it is less. Yes, yeah, some a lot of them are. Yeah, and this is the signaling moment uh, yeah. during the merging and uh, and and stuff taking turn. When we're turn and we're doing turn. quite late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or not, not at all. Late. Okay. And this is the reversing stuff that mm-hmm. didn't check the DM mirror. Okay. Um, I'll keep the camera running because it seems to be okay for the moment. Because mm-hmm. I was wondering if it's going to shut itself off. I gave minor things as well because the uh, sort of minor faults, what, you call, what officially called driver faults, mm-hmm. is I gave some for moving off safety. Mm-hmm. We're sometimes either not checking our blind spot before pulling away, okay. or sometimes you're checking it. And there's quite a big delay okay. between when you actually then move. So it's sometimes like checking it mm-hmm. and then going. Okay. 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 One time I stopped it because there was a car behind, so yeah. I hold it for the Then first do time. another yeah, yeah. another check just okay. to update yourself because you're quite yeah. right. That was the one time I was thinking of where you checked your blinds, but that one definitely. Yeah, yeah. And then because that car passed, you have to let them pass quite correctly. Mm-hmm. There was a delay. Okay. Um. So, um, other ones are related as well. Because mm-hmm. we just seem to, in general, be noticing things a little bit late. Okay. So, the reason I thought I'd come down this road, mm-hmm. when you're driving along, can you tell me how far ahead you're looking? Can you tell me, like here, roughly how far you're looking? But an object, you're, how far would you say you're looking normally when you're driving? Uh, that guy is coming. I, okay. I'm looking probably that much. Okay. And yeah. So looking even further than that. Mm, okay. So look towards that that person with the red jacket. Okay. That's now up here. That's quite convenient. There, Peter. Yeah, yeah. Um, to what you might call the limit point. Okay. Because by doing that, particularly at the fast speeds, how's it going to help? Mm-hmm. I'm checking things lately. 
mm. or see things earlier because some sort of meant is there was two times when we were slowing down for a 30 mile on our limit okay. we, we were still slowing down after we'd passed the sign uh, okay. so you did slow down so it's good you did see it and slow for it but we, we were still braking after the after sign the same, yes. um, and then it also meant that some sort of missing checking mirrors before slowing down because oh. probably because you're so focused on trying to slow because mm -hmm. seeing it a bit late and like so I think this is possibly related to the, the thing with checking Signaling. mirrors and signalling late yeah. seeing the mm -hmm. the turns a bit late and then it um, and then the mirrors and the signal being kind of forgotten or done a bit late okay um, any questions on that other moment um, um so if I check the driving faults, so those are the uh, kind of this side, or it's, you haven't checked anything at the driving side, or yeah. So D is dangerous faults. Okay. So there's and nothing. There's no oh, dangerous okay. faults. Very serious and dangerous. Yeah, and that's yeah. it. They're what you call the major. What you might know as the major, major faults, yeah. but they're officially called serious and dangerous. Okay. okay. Um, and these sticks are. And these are the driver driving. faults. Okay. What you might know is that, what you might know as the minor yeah. faults, but they're officially called driver faults. The ones in these. Mm -hmm. These bigger bo boxes. Okay. Um, so overall, I think it is just needs to be looking a bit further ahead mm -hmm. to Take see things early because this possibly will help your speed. Because mm -hmm. if you're looking further ahead, you'll have more confidence to mm -hmm. realise you can go faster because there's nothing happening. You've got a good clear road. Yeah. Uh, I know one of the lights I appreciate was because. Um, Thinking the speed limit is 50 with these signs, but it's on the single track, single carriageways, it's 60 with these national speed limit signs. Yeah. So I appreciate that slightly different reason. Mm -hmm. um, so, but like, so you can have a look back at this though um, mm -hmm. on the video. Yeah. I'll edit it together and do voiceover and all that sort of thing. Okay. Um, but I'll turn the camera off for now and okay. then um, go from there. Okay.